You guys uh, doing? turned that around nicely the other night. We did. We what had did, to. What did, what did you think uh, kind of sparked that turnaround? Defense. Yeah. Definitely. The second half, our defense was a lot better than the first half. You know, they missed some shots, but I think our effort was a lot better too, and it, that, that's all it really took. And we went on a great run and got away with the win. You're kind of an effort guy. How, how much a, a bigger part of that is, is your game with, with kind of the hustle plays and the defense and then grabbing loose balls? You know, I just try to do whatever I can, and I feel like everybody should be mm. a hustle guy, whoever's out there. So uh, that's something that anybody can do, and it doesn't require much talent. Just got to go out there and play hard. So I'm just trying to do that every night. How big was that Kentucky game for you guys to learn how to close the game out down the stretch, even when they came back, and then you did it again against Washington State. They cut it to two with nine minutes left. And yeah, you know, we had a, we had a lot of games like that this season when we were up and then they came back or somebody else was up and we came back. So we had a lot of close close games so far. And every single time we, we get we got to learn something and I think against Kentucky it, it just all paid off and we knew exactly how to close the game and it was great for us. Jalen said he calls you JJ. Do you know what the what uh, that's we don't about? know. I guess I guess he's just trying to make fun of my accent. Okay. <laughs> that's why that's but uh, yeah, that's what he calls me. Do you have a nickname on this team? Other than Gigi? Yeah. No, not really. That's something, nothing with Hungary or anything? The Hungary no, or Hungarian really. or something like not that? Really. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Not really anything like that. You guys ha have done a lot of travel, but you haven't really played a lot of road games. Uh, I guess Michigan was really the only true road game. What yeah. was what was that experience like, and, and is that does that differ? How different is that than a neutral game? You know, for me, I've been here. I've been here a couple of years now, so I've played a lot of road road games. But I think for a freshman, it was definitely an experience that. They have to they have to learn they have to get used to how to play against teams that are home and when we're on the road and uh, I think I think as we get, get go in the in the in the Pac-12 uh, conference I think it's going to be vital to, that we're going to have to learn how to play on the road. Did you notice the, they had a bunch of signs and some China flags and things like that in, in Michigan? Michigan? Did you no, see those? Not, so, not, look, I didn't really pay. It. I, I see, I've seen a couple of course, but I didn't really. Pay attention to them. Do you think that could be like an, a season-long thing? You guys kind of have to deal could with. Could be, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Is that if, is it, is if, that if, if if the fans are looking for something, that's definitely something that they can, you know, grab onto and, and go after. Is that easy to tune out as a player? Yeah, it's just there's always something, you know. <laughs> we always have to tune out something, so it's just another to those things. As a unit, it seems like you guys have tuned it out pretty well on the court. What what's been the biggest thing for you guys to succeed? early on so far? Just getting better every day. I think, you know, we have, even though we lost some guys, we, we still have a lot of freshmen. We still have those young guys who have to learn. And I think just getting better day, day by day, that's that's definitely a big part of our development. How much are you looking forward to this Bay Area trip, see what you guys can do up there? You know, it's going to be my last Bay Area trip of my career. So uh, as a matter of fact, every trip is going to be my last trip from <laughs> now on. So I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. What's uh, Aaron? Holiday meaning to this team right now, the way that he's playing. I think he's, I think he's, he's great. He's a great leader. I love playing with him. And, uh, you know, every time there's some, some going on the court, he's always a guy that we can look to for help. And that's, that's even offensively, defensively, he's just our leader. You guys have made a lot of strides, free throws. I think Coach mentioned you're now above 70%. How, how have you guys improved in that area? And me personally, it's, it's all mental, you know. I know I can make it. And I just, I just had to concentrate and make it. But um, as a team, you know, we started out pretty slow, but it's just free throws. So you, know, you just got to calm down and make them. How much time in practice you guys work on that? We do a good amount, you know. Whenever we have some rest, we usually have to make sure we put some free throws up. And, and at the end of practice, we do pressure free throws. So, yeah, we, we, we work on a good amount. You guys feel like you're kind of riding this wave of momentum, one in four games in a row, and maybe kind of established a, an identity, a clear identity of who this team is a little bit? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're starting to figure ourselves out. You know, everybody's starting to play their role a little better, and we're just starting to figure ourselves out offensively and defensively. So, yeah, I was really riding momentum. What have you seen with Chris Wilkes? He's put together a nice stretch of games here, maybe he said the for best stretch of the season since the start. Chris is playing aggressive, man. He's just playing his game. He's getting more comfortable, you know, we 13, 14 games in, so he's getting more comfortable and he's playing more aggressive. How big was that Kentucky game to change the momentum of this team and they came back against you guys, you guys responded, then you do it again against Washington State and Washington, obviously. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've been in a situation before we've been up and we've lost the lead, so 
I mean, it was big for us. You know, they were top 10 at the time, and it was a good win for us. It was something that we needed going forward. You guys have really only played one true road game uh, in Michigan, I think. Yes. Um, they kind of came out full force with all the signs and the flags and things like that. Did you notice that uh, before the game, maybe, when you were warming up? Nah, I heard about it, but I didn't notice it. Do you think that might be something you guys have to, like, deal with all season is on the yeah, road? Yeah, I think it's something we have to deal with, but I don't – we're not going to pay too much attention to that. We're trying to win basketball games, so it's not something that we pay attention to. You guys have also made a lot of strides with your free throws yeah. as a team. Um, have you seen anything that's helped that, or is that just getting better as the season gets goes I along? Mean, it's something we work on in practice. You know, you're not good at something, you got to work on it. So <laughs> it's something we work on, and we've gotten better at it. So that's good. How much attention have you paid to it? Because I know earlier in the season there was a time when you had your left foot in front of your right on some yeah. free throws and things like that. It, was that something that you had to put some extra time in on the side? Yeah, yeah. I definitely put extra time in on my free throws after practice, sometimes before practice, and even when I'm working out on my own, I make sure I make a lot of free throws. Coach Alford's a big free throw shooter. How much uh, does he give you guys a hard time when you, when you miss him? We know he doesn't, he doesn't. One of his biggest pet peeves, he says it all the time, is he doesn't like miss free throws. Yeah. So it's like you're giving away free points. It's free. When you're practicing on your own and you miss a free throw, do you have a rule like, oh, I got to do 10 push-ups now or, or something like that? Nah, but typically what we do is if you miss two in a row, you have to uh, do a down and back. Mm -hmm. Is Coach ever out here with you guys shooting? Does he shoot with you guys? Every now and then he'll, he'll throw the rock up. Every <laughs> now and then. He makes them too. <laughs> he makes them too. Uh, yep. Just this team, the, the way that you guys have dealt with the early adversity and getting into the league now and winning games. What, what's been the key for you guys to succeed early on? Just stay focused and just continue to keep working. So that's what we've been doing. We've been staying focused. We've been working. And it's starting to pay off. How much are you looking forward to this Bay Area trip? Looking forward to it. You know, it's our first true road stand. And, you know, it's going to be fun. When it's times like this on the road, tough environments, how much does a guy like Aaron help you guys lead the race? You know, Aaron's been here for a while, man. He's played a lot of minutes in this program, so he's very experienced. So he just uses that experienced leadership to just help us all out and just show us how it's done. All good. I may have asked you this after the game, but Chris Wills <coughs> has put together a nice stretch of games here. What have you seen with him as far as kind of uh, putting together some consistency here? Uh, I feel like he just got more confident. Obviously, starting off the year, it's his first couple games, and he got more and more um, just consistency out of that. So. Just getting more confident, really. I think that's all it is. You talked before the year about how athletic this team is with mm -hmm. Chris Wilkes, Chris Smith, and Jalen, obviously. And do you see that athleticism kind of turning on the defensive end? They're, they're picking it up and reaching their potential with that athleticism defensively? Uh, for sure. They're obviously long and athletic, mm -hmm. and that helps us defensively. You know, people don't really like playing against length, and in our 3 2 zone, that really helps us take up a lot of space on the floor. So athleticism helps block shots as well. So it all. It all plays a role in our defense. I'm just going to trip like this up to the Bay, help especially the younger guys on this first real road trip. I mean, we've been to Michigan, mm -hmm. obviously, and that's obviously a big part of what we do. I mean, road trips are really, really, they really, really help you in, uh, in the tournament, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we don't ever play at home in, on the road, so it's just, it's just going to help us throughout the season. Have you depended on your brothers at all with this kind of early season adversity and just how to mm, leave? Not really. I just figured it out on my own pretty much. Obviously, they help when they can, but just figure it out on my own. And as you figured it out and as your team has figured it out, how much mm -hmm. fun has it been leading these, this group? Uh, it's fun, you know, just being out here, being the leader, obviously helping them, putting them in places, and mm -hmm. leading myself, you know, just being the scorer that I have to be in the – passer and defensive player so it just it just helps when you're able to play your game basically the, the Michigan fans had quite a variety of signs and yeah. some flags did you notice that at all before the game maybe in warm-ups that they mm, were no I don't really pay attention to that you think that might be something you guys see on the road this season quite a bit possibly I mean I don't know they do what they feel I guess <laughs> you guys uh, didn't go to the Bay Area last year how do you mm -hmm. feel about the Pac-12's unbalanced schedule where you don't really go everywhere every year not everybody comes here is that do you even think about that is that no, it doesn't cross my mind, really. I just go out there and play games, to be honest. You got a little more on your shoulders this year. Mm -hmm. As a competitor, as someone who works your tail off during the summer, what's it been like for you to be able to show more? Uh, it's great. You know, last year, 
I obviously didn't control that much with the team we had. I didn't have to, really. But this year, I have to play well every game, which it's fun and exciting, but it can get tough at times. Obviously, yesterday, the first half, I didn't play well, and we didn't play well. So just knowing that going into games, I just know I got to play well and do what I can to help my team win. Is that why it's important for, like, obviously, Jalen and Chris to kind of step up and supplement you so that you don't feel that pressure every game to kind of be the guy? Uh, I don't really feel much pressure. I just go out and play my game. but. When they're stepping up, it obviously helps us win, and it makes us more dangerous, I feel like.